Hey, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys tuning in. Today, we're counting down my top 10 bangers of 2020. Stay tuned. So first off, before we count down my top 10, if you're new here, you like music, and you like DJ stuff, All right. you like seeing people party and have a great time, please consider subscribing down below and hitting that like button, all right? It helps me out more than you know. 2020 has been a really, really tough year for artists and musicians and music in general. People have had to stay home because of government lockdowns, restrictions, have had to find a way to try to entertain themselves in any way possible. One way is to the app TikTok and artists have been finding out that using TikTok to their advantage, they can propel their singles to the stratosphere. There are some bangers that came out this year, despite everything that's gone on. Anyway, let's get into it. These are my top 10 songs or bangers of 2020. Number 10, Tussie Slide by Drake. Black leather glove, no sequence. Buckles on the jacket, it's elite shit. Tussie Slide is a song by Canadian rap superstar Drizzy Drake. It was released as the lead single on April 3, 2020, and was also released alongside the video, which gives everyone the first look of his $100 million Toronto mansion. Black leather glove, no sequence. Buckles on the jacket, it's a leech. The song is titled after social media influencer Tussie, who had previously helped the song go viral on TikTok. The song debuted at number 18 on the US bubbling under Hot 100 before debuting at number one on the main Billboard Hot 100 chart the next week, making Drake the first male to accomplish three number one debuts. Tussie slide, then I hit a double time, then I hit a sh Number 9, Dynamite, BTS. Cause I, I, I'm in the stars tonight. So watch me bring the fire, set the night light. Dynamite is a song recorded by super ultra popular South Korean boy band, BTS. It was released on August 21, 2020. And the song is an upbeat disco pop song with elements of funk, soul, and bubblegum pop, taking influence from 1970s music. The song charted in the top 10 in 25 different countries and topped the charts in Hungary, Israel, Lithuania, Malaysia, Scotland, Singapore, and South Korea. Number 8, WAP, Cardi B, and Megan Thee Stallion. Seven days a week, wet and gushy, make that pull up. Another song that has gained wild popularity through the app TikTok, WAP, is recorded by American rapper Cardi B, also featuring vocals from another American rapper, Megan Thee Stallion, was released through Atlantic Records on August 7, 2020. WAP received widespread critical acclaim for its sex-positive message, while some conservatives criticized its explicit nature. I like pain. Me and ask, who's is it when I rap it? Yeah, I'ma spell my name. Ah. It debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, giving Cardi B her fourth number one single in the U.S., extending her record as the female rapper with the most number one singles in Hot 100 history. It was Megan's second Hot 100 chart topper, and the song has broken numerous records and has spent number one spots in Australia, Canada, Greece, Ireland, Lithuania, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. Number seven, Savage, Megan the Stallion. Classy, bougie, ratchet. This track cemented Megan the Stallion's status as a major mainstream talent. The record was produced by Jay White and it went viral on the video sharing app TikTok with people performing the Savage Dance Challenge during the song's chorus. An eventual remix with Beyonce 
was a surprise release on April 29, 2020 as the lead single off of Megan's debut album. Getting kind of boring. If it ain't about the money, then you know I'm gonna ignore it. The remix reached number one on Billboard Hot 100 on May 26, 2020, becoming Megan Thee Stallion's first and Beyonce's 11th number one single on the chart. As of late July 2020, the song had over 3 million units in the US. The song received three nominations at the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards, Record of the Year, Best Rap Performance, and Best Rap Song. Sassy, moody, nasty. Number 6, Mood, 24K Golden. And again, another massive song that was propelled by the app TikTok was a part of their marketing strategy, says manager Stretch. When the song officially dropped on July 24th, the positive response only continued to grow. In its first week, Mood sold 15,000 units, bolstered by Golden and his team sharing the song organically on social media. By mid-August, it had been used in 12,000 videos on TikTok, and by mid-September, that number grew to over a million. The pop-tinged summer track and its accompanying video finds the rappers detailing their toxic relationships. Number 5. Say So, Doja Cat Say So was originally released as the fifth track on Doja Cat's second studio album, Hot Pink. During late 2019 and early 2020, the song gained popularity on the social media app TikTok due to several dance challenge videos that featured the song and videos containing the song have now been viewed over 7.5 billion times on the platform. Say So has been described as a steamy, groovy, pop, pop rap, and disco song. Uh, additionally, draws inspiration from 1970s funk and especially Good Times by Sheik. Number 4, Savage Love, Jason Derulo featuring Josh 685. Oh, Josh685 had originally posted the instrumental title Laxed Siren Beat to YouTube in 2019. Following its viral success, Laxed Siren Beat was officially released to online platforms on April 24, 2020, and Josh685 signed with Columbia Records in May 2020. On June 11, 2020, Columbia Records announced that the two artists had finally put their differences aside and that Josh 685 allowed Jason Derulo to finally release his songs. But I still want that. Yes, I Number three, The Box, Roddy Rich. I'ma get lazy. I got the mojo deal. The Box is a song by American rapper Roddy Rich, released as the fourth single on January 10, 2020, from his debut studio album Please Excuse Me for Being Antisocial. In the US, The Box was the biggest song of the first half of 2020, selling 4.7 million equivalent units as of July 2, 2020. Easy. Apple Music named it Song of the Year. It received three nominations at the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards. Prior to the song being released as a single, it became Roddy Rich's highest charting song worldwide, spending 11 weeks at number one on the US Billboard Hot 100, as well as topping the charts in Canada, New Zealand, Hungary, and peaking at number two in both the UK and Ireland. The whole damn seal, I'ma get lazy. Number two, rock star, the baby. I was always guaranteed to get the money. Okay, let's go. She know that the baby boy was always guaranteed to get the loot. She know what I do. She know if I run from a nigga, I'ma pull it out. Rock star is a song by American rapper the baby, also featuring Roddy Rich, and was written by both rappers. 
The song was released on April 17, 2020 as the second single from the baby's third studio album, Blame It on Baby. The song also topped the charts in Australia, Canada, Denmark, Greece, Ireland, New Zealand, Portugal, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom and peaked within the top 10 of the charts in Germany, the Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, and Finland. In the US, it spent seven non-consecutive weeks at number one on the US Billboard Hot 100. Its music video is set in a zombie apocalypse. And before we get to the number one spot, we'd like to give an honorable mention to Rain On Me, Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. Rain On Me just narrowly missed being in the top 10 with Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande and their upbeat house, dance, pop, and disco song. And it couldn't have come at a better time. Described by Gaga as a celebration of tears, it is about being able to keep going despite the hardships of life. And at the number one spot, we have Blinding Lights from The Weeknd. Blinding Lights is unarguably the biggest song of 2020. Although it was released on November 29, 2019, it didn't start getting recognition until 2020, being nominated for numerous awards and winning a majority of them. It is cold and empty. No one's around to the singer-songwriter The Weeknd from Canada also produced the song alongside of super producer Max Martin. Blinding Lights peaked at number one in 34 countries, including the United States and Canada, where it became the weekend's fifth number one single on the Hot Billboard 100 and the Canadian Hot 100 for four and seven weeks, respectively. It also became his first number one single in Germany for 10 weeks, the United Kingdom for eight weeks, and Australia for 11 weeks, thus making it his most successful single worldwide to date. I'm going through a you don't even have All right, guys. I hope you guys like my top 10 bangers of 2020. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, if you think a song should be in there, and uh, if you agree with this list, give me a big thumbs up, and if you don't agree, give me a big thumbs down. All right? It helps me either way. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. We'll see you again. All right, guys? This is DJ9 signing off.